We're looking at a different Dolphins team than we've seen in the last few years. When you look at the standings in the AFC East, you find the Dolphins on top for the first time since 1985, and they're doing it with a balanced offense and a solid defense and a revitalized running game. The architect of this Dolphins team is Don Shula, who on Sunday won his 200th game as Dolphins coach. Don joins Nick now on Crosstalk. Coach, it's fantastic. Congratulations on your 200th win as a Dolphins head coach. Hey, it even goes to show that you perform above your God-given talent. <laughs> hey, Nick, you were around for a lot of those wins, and uh, this 200th, though, is pretty, pretty special. You know, this is the first real running game, Don, that I've seen, since, really, since you go back to the days of Sanka, Kick, and Mercury. I mean, do you attribute it to the progress of those two first-round draft choices, Webb and Sims? Right, and, and Sammy Smith being here and having a whole training camp and an off-season program. Last year, we drafted him number one. We got him after the first game of the season. But then we invested again into a um, number one and number two draft choices uh, for offensive linemen. We got two good ones. Well, the uh, Sammy Smith, I mean, I know that he last year missed training camp, but it did look like he had a commitment to run through the hole. I mean, what has changed his attitude? Well, I think just being around and, and finding out what to do and knowing what the blocking patterns are and knowing how tough it is in this league to succeed. And he dedicated himself in the offseason and then came in this uh, training camp and hasn't missed a lot of practice time. And we didn't use him a lot in preseason, but in these first two uh, regular season games, he's just been outstanding. Well, the defense has looked like it's done a little turnaround, too. I mean, the secondary has definitely improved. McGuire looks like he's a player after he came off that groin injury. And the safeties, Jarvis Williams and Louis Oliver. Is that the secret to the defense? Yeah, the, the two safeties are just outstanding football players. Louis Oliver is as good a, an athlete as you'll ever find playing in the uh, deep secondary. And he puts a lot of hit into your defense. McKire, we hope, can give us the coverage corner that we're looking so hard to find. And on the other side, J.B. Brown's doing a good job. And Jarvis Williams is a third-year man now, so he's an experienced secondary man. How does it feel to pick up the uh, paper and not see <laughs> Danny Marino won the game or Danny Marino lost the game? Well, Nick, you know how hard uh, the last few years I've preached for, for better balance because uh, we found out we just couldn't win throwing the football, being one-dimensional. So we worked hard to get this balance, and I think Dan is enjoying the fact that he can hand, hand it off every now and then and, and have success with the running game. You know, when I played for you in the 70s, uh, you were a real hard ass. Now they tell me you softened up a little. Is that true? <laughs> well, uh, I, all you got to do is be around here for any length of time, and I don't think that you'll find that I've softened up too much. But uh, what, this all about, what this is all about, Nick, is to get this football team back winning and back on top. And I've really dedicated myself to doing that. We've been down four years in a row, and I haven't enjoyed it. Coach, the uh, Giants this week. I mean, this is a big game for the, really the re rebounding Dolphins. You've got Lawrence Taylor. I think I know where Tony Page is going to be uh, this week looking for LT. How do you evaluate this ball game? Well, the Giants are probably the best all-around football team that we've played. Uh, they're so strong. Uh, they've got great balance on uh, defense, uh, the pass rush, the linebackers, their secondary is good. Offensively, Phil Simms is right at the peak of his career. And their offensive line, they made big investments in uh, offensive linemen a couple of years ago that are now paying off for them, you know, number one and number two draft choices. And then these past two years, they picked up running backs that are exciting and can really do the job for them. This is a real good football team, and we realize that we've enjoyed what's happened the last two weeks, but we know the Giants are going to be real tough. Well, thanks. Thanks, Coach, for being on the show. I know you're very busy, and I hope you're around for the next 20 years, and I know you will <laughs> if you're better a half Dorothy keeps putting your game plan together. Well, thanks, Nick. Nice being with you. Back to you guys. Thank you, gentlemen. You know, Chris, I'm a little puzzled because I was waiting for Coach Don Shula to mention what Nick has been telling me for years, and that is that Nick taught him everything he knows about defense. <laughs> What's your reaction to Shula? There are just some coaches who are bigger than the game, and I think of Vince Lombardi, you think of Tom Landry, and that man, Mr. Don Shula. You know, I don't think that I've heard of anybody getting more praise from the people in the business, the players, than Don Shula.